Hey guys, it's Ellen here and we're working on some more fall today. This is a super easy and fun uh, ink and wash watercolor uh, tutorial on birch trees. Yep, we're going to start off drawing it with a sharpie pen, go in and wash in some color and paint in some shadows. And we can use a little white gouache at the end like to put in some more skinny white trees. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button, that little ding bell that you see, the little icon, uh, to know my tutorial is up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, reference photos, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays and uh, live stream once a month on the top tier. It's a place people go and support my channel, which I really appreciate. Um, you can check it out boop, up here. So without further ado, let's get painting some trees. Okay, for this tutorial, I'll go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arch 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I just taped down with Scotch Magic Tape on a thick piece of cardboard, 8 by 10 size. Um, my paints and my palette, I go over them as I use them. And I also have in the description box along with all my other supplies, paper towels. I'll be using the Sharpie pen. I'll be playing around with the Princeton 12 Neptune, maybe the 10 um, water jars up here. So basically, we're just going to be drawing the birch trees with the Sharpie. And then we're going to just going to be washing in some color behind it and then adding some more washes on the trees and then using the sharpie for like the skinny branches or you can use the paintbrush so basically for birch trees we're just going to do like birch trees like you know face head on there's no like background land just going to have all these beautiful like colors in the background but to begin we're just going to draw some trees so you know you picture your trees would be rectangle, you know, like the skinny little trunk or bigger. We're going to vary the size. Skinny, big, whatever. I'm going to start off with doing a big one. Kind of like, you can put the line down and you just kind of do jagged kind of marks. You know, just like that. It's not really going to be this perfect, you know, tree. You can put a little branch out here already. Just go like that, like a bigger branch. And you kind of come down, you're going to go in and out. Just make this little jagged marks with your pen. Now the birch trees have like these little like notches on them. So you can do it with your pen, scrape them in with the pen. They're just kind of like this half crossy kind of marks. We're going to actually paint some of it too, but you know, when you're drawing it, you just go like this. Just put some in like this. So that's like a big tree. We're going to be doing some smaller ones. So like I'll have another one here. Again, just putting these little notches in. I'm going to put a little branch here. Just another, see, go across the notches. You can make them darker. Just like going like that. We'll be adding in color in the background. Uh, we're doing a skinnier tree. You're gonna do some, some big ones in the front and then we can do some smaller ones in the back. You know, another tree over here. branch you don't want to make them like this perfect straight so you can kind of go in and out just like that and I'll add a branch here again these notches just like scratch marks going across like this see what we're getting here so we have a few bigger ones. You can add some of this branches here. And we're gonna do some smaller ones. You put as many trees as you want. I wouldn't go coo crazy because um, it's gonna look kind of goofy. And don't put them just straight up and down. You have them leaning, like I have mine, it's not kind of leaning. There's a the nature, they're not gonna just all be straight up and down. Unless that they're these perfect trees that we don't know about coming from a landmass that I don't have heard of. Again with some branches, little notches. 
and then do even another skinny one back here, a real skinny one. Little notches. You want a variety of thickness on the trees. Don't be afraid. I'm gonna put another one over in here. Kind of on the edge. Just get all the little marks in. All the fun stuff. And I'll do another one over here. You know, I like to keep it. I'm gonna see how many trees I got. One, two, three, four, five, seven, seven. Hmm. Do another skinny one back here. Again with those little notches. This one be a little more straight. I can have like a branch kind of up here. I might even throw another couple of skinny teeny ones. Again, we're just doing these little cross hatch kind of marks. They're kind of curved. The tree. See that? That will indicate the birch tree. Put another branch here. See? Notches on this one. Get all your drawings in first. You could go do it a little bit later, but it's best to just check, try and get it all in first. So I can get pretty close together like this one. So I can put a notch here and then draw like a couple of notches like right there. See, looking more like a birch tree already. <laughs> And of course the branches. So we're going to paint the background. That's why I'm going to hit the bigger brush. You can also use a flat wash brush too if you want. I'm going to stop. Just going to paint the background. We're going to do a lot of wet on wet with some nice pretty colors that are fall colors. So I might put another peaky couple of trees. Oh, maybe I'll just leave it like that. Because we're going to paint around these trees because the trees would be white. I'm eventually going to be gray, but we don't want to paint them right now. Just for a variety, I might do another. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to do another skinny one in here, but I'm not sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like odd numbers. But the skinny tree, hmm, if I put one in there, i got to put another one in. I might do it. <laughs> You see how my brain works, guys? Putting some branches off this already. Okay. I guess we'll just keep it that way. Seven. You can always add some skinnier trees if you want. We'll keep it like this for now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start to wash in some color. Okay. So I've got Cabin Yellow Deep, Quinacridone Magenta, I have Brilliant Orange here, Burnt Umber, Black Wash in, bla uh, Burnt, excuse me. Uh, neutral tint which is like a blacky purple kind of color and then I've got Prussian blue ultramarine blue peacock blue so I'm gonna take my number 12 Neptune series I'm just gonna grab some of this wonderful cabin yellow deep I'm gonna take some of this orange see how bright that is a little too not realistic in nature so I might add a little burnt number that's a little too much burnt number I'll go back here with the orange again. I mean, it was bright, but it, I wanted to dull a touch. I can add some yellow to it. And then we can make some green with the yellow and the peacock blue. It's good to have some bright green around. So we're going to be washing in some color. So I'm going to take the yellow. I don't like to use the yellow straight like that. I mean, it's very bright, so I'll add a touch of the brown. Mix a fair amount of water in here. Okay, we're just going to go kind of in between the trees. Like a paint by number kind of situation. Right now I'm just doing wet on dry, which means the paper is dry and I'm putting the wet paint down. Kind of going in between the trees. You can start by playing like adding in, see I'm just bleeding in some of that orange. 
So you can just tapping it with your paintbrush. Look at that pretty color. Some of the yellow down. Again in here. Well, that's a little too bright. But you get the idea. See how I'm just going to paint, paint in between the trees. That we just did. This can be just really loose. Could add some green down here. I'm going to grab that green and add more water. Now you could do it two ways. You could have just do wet on dry like I'm doing, or you can go ahead and just put in some water first. And then go add the paint, kind of bleed in some paint. Some orange. Now it wouldn't be it would be very strange if you just had orange here and not kind of coming over in this section. So you kind of want to make it look like it belongs going across. You can add a little red, which is magenta. Some red tones up in here. Have them bleed a little bit. Let's get a little bit darker. Don't be afraid. I'm just bleeding in color. See, there's my paintbrush has now got some tint to it with the water, which is fine. I'm just gonna put the water down. Like I said, put some green kind of towards the bottom in this section. And the green can get a little bit darker. You can add some Prussian blue to your green. Get a little bit darker in some areas. You just want to play with the paint. See, I'm adding in some of that pretty yellow. And now I'm going to grab some of the yellow. Just really kind of throwing in that paint pretty quickly. I did throw in some of that orange right out of the tube, kind of thing. That's kind of cool. Don't worry if you get too close to the birch. It's not a big deal. Kind of work in sections because it's going to be, you know, you have to worry about going back and forth so easily. So just take your time in the sections. You do want a cohesive look, so you want to have it kind of like, if it's going to be mostly like oranges and reds here, you still have some yellows and add some more greens over here. So I'm going to grab some of this. You can grab some brown, brown amber, put that in there too. Like I said, don't be afraid to put in some of these other colors. Bleeding in a little bit of a brown, some orange. You want to have fun with this, guys. I would say if you had um, masking fluid, you could splatter the paint. But if you splatter the paint now, it's going to get on the trees and it's not going to go where we want it to go. <laughs> that would be a problem. So here I'm just, like I said, I'm just playing, putting in color, throwing some green, some red. Putting in some magenta mixed with the yellow. You know, you keep playing around and you get a nice red. Just gonna bleed in some of this color. Some orange. And I'm just gonna put wet on dry here. Go back with the yellow again. Adding some more yellow to this. I'm gonna clean up my brush. I just put some simple water. So you get the idea. You're just gonna play around with, see I'm gonna add the water first. I'm gonna do that all throughout right now. Let's just speed up this process. Just trying to stay away from the white, rig, rig, the white branches. I'm putting it everywhere else. And then we'll just bleed in some color. Picking up the pace a bit. Okay. Grab some more of my yellow. 
You can kind of lift your board up too and have it bleed down. It's only going to go where the where the water is. My tape, putting in that bright yellow. See that bright yellow? Like I made, you know, I went over my branch a little bit over here. I don't care. Just kind of throwing in this yellow. Oh, didn't wet that area. Throwing in the yellow. This kind of dried pretty fast, actually. Putting this in the green. Over here. Go back and put some more yellow down here. Don't be afraid of color. Also, another trick is to stand back and look and see where the colors are if you want to add, you know, in certain areas. I'm going to add a little red, make an orange red over here. I'm just kind of taking my brush and tapping it in like this. It will bleed because it's still wet. Grab a little brown. Again, play around with adding in some orange and mixing up some more orange. Little tap, 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 taps. You want to get it even darker still up in here. I'll, I have my magenta and some yellow teeny bit of the Prussian blue. It's like a cranberry color. Just getting a little bit darker up in here. A couple of those. It's still damp, so you can kind of still kind of bleed. Just kind of tapping it with my brush. Some parts aren't, which is fine. So you have this bleed look in some areas, and then it's like an actual mark in other areas, like up in here, that are dry. It's a nice combination to do. Yeah, Ooh, that looks so bright. <laughs> Gonna add in some more greens, deeper greens. So I talked about putting the Prussian blue with that green that we mixed. Go a little bit deeper. Just kind of tap in some greens in certain areas. You see I'm kind of just sporadically sticking it around in the areas. A little bit darker. It's doing like a little spider thing. I want to have a little more control. I might go to a smaller brush like the number 10. And I'm going to grab some of the oranges. Yellows. See, I'm kind of moving fast and just kind of pushing that brush around. Don't be afraid to keep adding color. I'm going to add little browns down here. I'm going to get a little bit darker green down here. You can add some darker green. I'm add a little Prussian blue. Again, just play around with the color. Nice and bright up here. Gonna add a little more orange. Some of it down here. Don't leave it out. <laughs> add some orange down here, kind of balance. Don't want it all green. So the sections that have dried up here, you're adding a deeper orange, you can kind of just make like a little tap so it looks like, you know, leaves. 
obviously you want it a little bit darker. So I'm not going to go over all this, but you see what I get what I'm talking about here. I'm just going to add in some color. And the less water you use with the color, the less it's going to bleed too. And I feel like my yellow has gotten a little muddy. Go back in. It's a nice little trick too. You can just go add some more yellow on top of the color that you did. If you feel like it got too orange, you want to lift up some. You could do a little trick where you take paper towel and lift up the color. And go back in and add. Don't do this too much though. The yellow. See if you felt it was getting too much of orange. And go back in and add some yellow. Go right over this color. Yellow over here. Just want more yellow in this. You can have so much fun just adding color. And then some sections can be like a little more green involved. So I'm going to add a little more green in here with some brown. And that brown is going up in here. Some Prussian blue in between. Just get a little bit darker. Just see, I'm just kind of tapping my brush. Indicate leaves. Just like that. And again, just getting a little bit darker. I'm putting some Prussian blue in here, getting a little bit darker. Some sections. Don't want it all to be like the same thing going on. I can add some green up in here too. See, like leaves in the background. Just kind of tapping my brush. It's just going to give it some more variety because you don't want it just to be like an orange and yellow thing. All right, so we're going to finish that and we're going to come back and work on the um, trees. Okay, once you do that, we're going to mix up, we're going to start painting the trees. We're going to mix up some nice grays. So I have that neutral tint like I told you here, All right? Just water this down. I have some black wash here, which is a nice, more on the brown side. And I've got some nice browns. And I have a little brown, I mean, uh, black wash to the burnt umber here. And take a little blue, which is peacock, and that to the neutral tint and a little brown. Got a couple of like gray tones happening here. So we're going to mix a bunch of these on the trees, mostly on this one side here. So I've got the watered down black wash. Adding more water to that. So I'm mostly painting on one left side, you see here. I'll add a little couple of washes next to the little marks here. But I'm really just kind of mostly painting on the left. As you see here on this one too. It's kind of like a bluish, greenish gray. I'll add some of the black wash in certain areas where the little marks are. We really want to just kind of wash down. See that? Don't be afraid. Go right in there. Adding that gray. See? Just, just take it. Um, see how it's wet? I'm going in and adding some of the other colors. A little darker here. Just like that. A little bit of brown. Because you don't want this plain old flat gray. You want some other tones to go with it. Adding in a wash right on top of this branch. And we can start, you know, start light and then go dark. You can't do the opposite, so. I'm gonna wash in the back of this. One right here. See, it's already changing the trees. I'm adding in that blue, brown, neutral tint. I 
has a little green to it. I add a little more brown and takes that color away. Don't be afraid to get a little bit darker, like I said, on the edge. See? And then if you hold your brush like this, you get some of that dry brush kind of nice streaks there. Again, on this branch, I'll put the color here. And then we get a little bit darker, a little more backwash. Same thing with the, just do this in all the trees. See how so it's completely changing the look of the tree. And then some of the notch areas. Go back in and get a little bit darker. See, especially around the notch. Those little notches that we drew in. It can get, you can just bleed some like nice uh, dark uh, black wash here, right where those notches are. Get a little bit darker still. So you're just kind of, kind of building up the paint color. Now we've got this tree here. <laughs> Don't neglect. Get a little bit darker. And you're just going to keep doing this. It's good to just paint over the little notches too, with an even darker color. And this one would be in the shadow. Add in a little bit of brown. See, taking some brown. You don't want the color just to be this one tone gray. Adding in some browns. Getting darker on this one. Maybe you don't really see the bottom that much. The white. You're going to keep doing this until you feel satisfied that it looks like the way you want it to look. See, this looks a little flat, so I'll go back in here and I'll start adding in some color. Once you finish all this, then we're going to go back in with our Sharpie pen and draw in some uh, more branches. Okay, once you just wash in all your tree color, we'll go back with the Sharpie pen and we'll start sticking in some branches. You can kind of double up on the, the lines so they stand out more. This is kind of like, you know, how you want to kind of just go ahead and put in some nice, zoom in so you can see a little bit better. You see, I'm just taking the Sharpie pen and then just double up, which means going back over the branch and going up. Just like that. You can cross over some of the trees. This is where all the fun with the drawing comes back in again. That's a little still wet over there, so. But you see what I'm saying? If you don't want to use the Sharpie pen, which I just feel like it's so much easier to draw with this, you know, you can um, paint it. But I feel like the pen just makes things a lot easier for people. Like I said, double up on the branch. It just makes it a lot easier to do the branches. It's still wet over here, so I'm not going to really. And you can draw some just sticks right in here from the bottom. See like that? Some trees branching off. Just gonna change your whole design a little bit. Or you could paint it in. It's much easier sometimes for people just to draw it because they have a little more control. But 
that's how I would do it and like if you want to see the branch a little bit better you can just double up on drawing on top of it like I'm doing here same thing with the go back into the tree if you want and add some more notches so I'm gonna go back in here and just kind of fill in this um, if you had issues with where you feel like you needed more white branches you can just go in and add some white gouache and then go again back over with it with this marker or paintbrush and you can add in the branches and the trees see I'm just doubling up on these but that's pretty much how I'm gonna do it you don't have to go crazy with the branches I'm going a little crazy right now <laughs> But you see what I'm saying? You might not want to go as crazy as me. And that's that. So I'm going to just remove the tape. Play around with the color in the background. You know, you could now um, that it's dry, you can go back and you can add, you could add some, you can splatter it so the leaves could be on top of it. You might want to go back in and add um, I have my brush here. Just concentrate the yellow. See that? Just grab the yellow right out of the tube, basically. And you can just go back in and even go over the branches. Look at that. Wah, wah. Just add, brighten it up if you want to do that. It's probably going to dry, you know, lighter, but don't be afraid. Now you can go over some of the branches too. See? Just changing it up a little bit. If you felt like it was too red in some parts. See, I changed that a little bit more. The beauty and the fun of it. Ta-da! I'm sorry, I didn't even realize that. I didn't bring this back down to where it had to be. See, I'm gonna add a little more yellow. Just right off the tube. Just kind of tapping it around. Yeah. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. You know, have fun with this. You're drawing in the trees. You're just kind of bleeding in the wa the watercolor. It's a really super easy, simple. If you can draw like sticks, <laughs> you can draw this. You're just bleeding color. And then you're just going to put the shadow on the side of the tree here. You can put more trees in. You can do whatever you want with it. Okay, guys. So I decided to add some more white trees. When I did is I added some gouache. Just some skinny marks here. Just some skinny trees, little branches off that. Here, here, and more little white branches. You can do, that's where the white gouache comes in. So when you finish this and you're like, eh, I want more white in there. It's a beautiful thing to have some white gouache in your, you know, in your toolbox to go ahead and do that. And you can add some more white branches. It just changes the look a lot more. So I might add another one down here. See, just straight up, kind of wonky skinny go in the background and then when that dries you can go over with the pen don't be afraid the sharpie pen see it just changed it ever so much we don't have to do anything with the sharpie pen you can just leave it the way it is see how that changed made it a lot different i can add a little branch up in here Yeah. So I hope you guys like this, uh, enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, again, leave them in the comment section. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.